And um, can you hear me? I can hear you, Bob. Okay, great. Um, one thing a lot of people don't know is that um, um, you used to be a pilot, and I guess you got your pilot's license when you were pretty young. You know, Bob, what it, what it actually, when you when you first start into your flight school, you'll get into the first part of it, and what happens is when um, you'll have usually average of about 20 hours or so, and but for myself, I was lucky, I did it in 10 hours, and, it's, when, and they'll always tell you that that moment you'll not, you won't, no one will come, you'll think this won't be the day, and, what it's called is that you solo, and that's when you fly for the first time for yourself. It's called your student's pilot's license. And um, I remember a long time ago, it was just like it was yesterday, that we were, I had uh, really had flown a, day, a couple of times out before, not that great. And the next time I came out, it, we were in conditions really that were just on borderline, it was unfable to fly. It was a little bit of a a rain coming, which is not good for a small Cessna seen on a plane. And I had a little bit of a crosswind, a 20 mile, a 20 mile hour crosswind is, is almost over the limit with a, a plane like that would take. We were right on the verge of So I just, I was sure that day I wouldn't solo. And uh, my pilot instructor, Jerry Stevens, uh, I remember he, 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 we, I land and um, he pulls, he says, pull over to the side. And, and what they do, they get right out there in the landing strip and they watch you. So I get, let him out and I, I took off. And I remember the last call letters of the airplane was six eight Fox Trot, and uh, it was I was so nervous, just like yeah, I couldn't get it out. But I'll never forget it, Bob, for the first time, and I was um, a teenager. Yeah. I flew a one Cessna one Cessna seventy two for the first time by myself, and then to me that was probably the greatest accomplishment of my whole life. Wow, yeah, that's incredible. I tell you, I don't know if I'd have the guts to do it. It's just the heights. Heights gets to me a little. Well, the thing is, Bob, is things like that, and I'm not trying to sound like a, um, make this look to sound uh, cocky or anything, but when it, it, it is. Not very many people could do it, Bob, and so when I did it, and I was up there, you know, you'll, and you'll know that people could do this because it's, it's really hard because it's 19 things at one time to take off and land an airplane. And um, what it does, when you're up there by yourself in an airplane, you know, 2,000 feet looking down, at that moment, you are above everyone because um, you're doing something that everybody wants to try. And uh, of course, my father was a pilot, and um, it just sort of, uh, I always myself, I wanted to be an acrobatic airline or, or do stunt flying and stuff like that. Wow, wow. Now, did you ever uh, work doing anything with uh, with your pilot's license? No, Bob, I was only a teenager when I soloed. By the time I got out, of, I was in flight school. I, it wasn't probably uh, a year after that I got into wrestling and I didn't have a chance to do any type of uh, flying for money. And it, but, I, but and I never had a chance to even fly again on my own because well, after uh, you know after six like one year of, of not flying or being what's called checked out, you know, Bobby, even if you're a pilot of a uh, a Boeing seven forty seven. If you have never been, say, every airline that you ever, air, aircraft that you get in, Bob, you have to have been checked out and okay by the, uh, the Federal Aviation. Someone that's, you know, guided and, and has got, you know, uh, able to say, okay, Bob Moran has flown this Cessna 172 and he's okay to fly. But if you never flown one, which everyone usually does, but if you haven't been checked out one in one year, you're not allowed to take off in the aircraft. Wow. Wow. So that's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a real tough deal to get into. So I, I, I was getting into it, and now I'm 50 years old. I don't think I'm going to be fine on the airplane. No. Now, um, question for you. Now, um, how old how old were you when you actually got involved with wrestling? Bob, I was, I, uh, man, I was, I was just as a teenager, would be 19 or 20 years old. And what it was, I was in a gym in Memphis working out, and um, just a real quick uh, uh, education for people that don't know about wrestling. Long time ago, Bob, before there was the WWF or things like that, there was every little to ever to the United States. There were probably fifteen or twenty little small territories, and. Um, 
Memphis has one. It was called uh, Memphis Championship Wrestling, and, and all the guys that you would hear of, like Randy Savage, Hillbilly Jim, um, those guys that were there a long time ago, Lady Poffo, um, Jake Roberts, all them, they, they worked the Memphis Territory, Hulk Hogan. Um, and then I met these guys in the gym, and they said, what do you think about doing? Well, I had an opportunity with a, I had a, um, a scholarship offer at a small college, and I was thinking about going, get that, and maybe after two years of college, I might make it in the NFL. And uh, they said, man, you know, at that time, Bob, the money at the NFL, you know, this was two million years ago, it wasn't that great of money, especially for someone like me who was scheduled to be, it's been hard, hard for me to make it anything probably more than an offensive lineman. I'm not knock, knocking offensive linemen. Back in those days, a, a good paycheck for them was $50,000 a year. And um, they just said, you can make this in wrestling. Well, just like a lot of people, Bob, I married John, had a child, John, and my wife was pregnant with a child coming. I didn't have two years to go to college. This seemed like an opportunity that I would get in right away. I wasn't a wrestling fan, haven't watched wrestling since I was probably in the third or fourth grade. Didn't know anything about wrestling, but I knew it was an avenue to make money. And that's how I got into it. 